Hey everybody, and welcome to the very first episode of Saturday Morning Cereal. Now clearly you can see that I'm sitting here not eating cereal, so it's a different kind of cereal. Um, actually, it's just going to be me basically sitting around talking about, you know, the stuff that I wanted to talk about this week. Um, in future shows, we're probably going to be talking with uh, other people that I know in the industry, maybe some other sculptors or other uh, creative individuals that work in the, the gaming business, uh, and then just uh, some pals of mine that I know, you know, from around that will have insight on what's going on in miniatures or the miniature industry or whatever, uh, what kind of input that they can provide. Uh, and, and we may do that in a variety of ways. Uh, it may be, you know, a phone call, you know, recorded. We may do, do a Google Hangout section, session or something like that, um, you know, where we can talk about uh, cool stuff that we've seen, uh, bring you some uh, sneak previews of things and all that. Plus, this is also going to be a platform for me to talk about what's going on here at uh, Bombshell Miniatures here at the Bomb Shop. Uh, this is actually, I'm sitting in the studio here at the area, at the, my workspace, uh, where I normally, uh, you know, do most of my sculpting. Uh, I do uh, most of my client sculpting in here. Uh, right now, I've been working pretty much to 12 to 16 hour days, uh, depending on, you know, what the workload is. Um, I usually sculpt in here, uh, working on stuff for the new Patreon, you know, that we just launched in January. And then, um, I'll, I'll work on models here on, in ZBrush. And then, uh, you know, once I get finished with that, it'll be time for supper. Got to feed the cats and do all that kind of thing around, you know, five or six o'clock. And then, I'll head up to the house, and then I'll work on my laptop until the wee hours, you know, watching, you know, TV or whatever uh, to get some other stuff done. So this is just, um, this video that I wanted to do in this video series is going to be kind of a way for me to connect with you, uh, our supporters, uh, because all of this wouldn't be possible without all of the fantastic folks that have been supporting us since we launched Bombshell Miniatures back in 2012. Uh, so that's that's quite a long time now. And uh, we were really excited to get the shop built and to, to get it up and running. And last summer, we launched uh, our Babes 4 Kickstarter project, which was ba basically our eighth Kickstarter project that we ran. And uh, it was the first time that I was able to sculpt all digital babes you know, uh, and sidekicks for that project. So uh, I used it as an opportunity to kind of test out, you know, my ability to translate my traditional sculpting skills that I've used for, you know, many years before that into, you know, the digital age and sort of update what, you know, our models looked like and um, bring some of the skills, you know, to it that I was using for my client work and that kind of thing. Um, I basically, I had to switch over to doing uh, digital sculpting uh, a as a requirement to, to continue to work. Um, a lot of the, the clients that I was doing work for before have moved now to doing completely, you know, digital models. Uh, companies, you know, larger companies, they're uh, like Reaper Miniatures, for example, um, you know, they, they used to do nothing but traditional sculpts, you know, before there was really the advent of, you know, digital sculpting. Um, but now most of the releases that they have are all done in ZBrush or, or, you know, other, uh, software, uh, like their CAV models and that kind of thing. So, um, uh, you know, I was really intrigued by it because when I first started sculpting, um, I mean, back in, I want to say 2010 or so when I was, you know, first sculpting professionally, uh, I would look at companies like Raging Heroes where, you know, their models were all, digital and they would show these fantastic renders of you know some of the models that they would put out and I was really amazed at the the level of detail that they were able to get in the sculpts and the uh, quality of the prints so in order to print something that small you know back then that was a real you know uh, uh, it was a feat that you know not a lot of people were doing um, but with Kickstarter coming along and with uh, that the you know all the board games and and the the stuff that's been out since then, um, it's really been 
a shift in the industry towards uh, you know, producing digital sculpts as opposed to, you know, going the traditional route, you know, with sculpting them in putty or, or that kind of thing. Now, the, the production process still remains the same because 3D printing technology just, you know, you can't, you can't just, you know, cast hundreds of or print hundreds of miniatures, you know, in a batch unless you've got like, you know, printer arrays and, and all that kind of thing. So uh, plus there's already established production processes in place for molding and casting. And so it's it's still feasible to sculpt a model and print it and then put it on mold as you would a traditional sculpt and then produce it, you know, uh, through that pipeline. And that was kind of what we wanted to do here with Bombshell Miniatures and sort of to, um, I guess, elevate our production pro process. Uh, plus, we, we didn't want to get left behind in the technology. So um, it, it took us a while to, to, to move and to build the shop and, and to do all the things because it's, it's just Vicki and I doing this. So, and she, she did a fantastic job. Now, in, in later episodes, we'll probably take you on a tour to show you, you know, all the construction that we've done in order to kind of build out uh, the building here and to show you the different areas that we have. Uh, that's going to include, you know, molding and casting that we have back there and what our, our uh, production process is for that. Uh, then we'll also show you, you know, the area where Vicky packs orders and, and uh, you know, processes the, the shipping packages and all that kind of thing. Um, so it's basically, it's, it's a similar process that we had um, when we were working out of our garage at the house. But we've been able to expand it and create a, ded a dedicated space uh, to do our work. And so that way, whenever, you know, I'm done here, even though I'm going home and sculpting on the laptop at night, uh, it, it gives me a chance to kind of separate the work that I do, you know, here and then, you know, uh, having, you know, some relaxing time at the house to, to kind of uh, decompress, you know, from that. So uh, so that's been very helpful. Um what we're looking at doing now is, uh, since we've been able to introduce 3D printing, you know, here in the shop, it's I, I was able to get a uh, a hobby grade, you know, printer in order to run test prints and that kind of thing to see, okay, well, um, are these models, you know, scaled to the right size in order to fit with the other models in our range and and all of that. So it's been invaluable to be able to just create the sculpt, put it on the printer, and then print it overnight, and then kind of check to make sure that everything is uh, uh, in line, you know, with the other models and everything before sending it off to have, you know, a higher resolution print made or or a higher quality print made. Uh, I mean, these printers, like the like we've got the Inicubic Photon now, and I mean the quality on it is great. So. If I were if I were doing just you know hobby models to paint and to play D and D with or something like that, it's perfect for that quality. But because of the production process of you know molding and casting, there's there's a little bit of loss. It's it's slight, but there is a little bit of loss in that process. And so you really want to start with a really really high quality print in order you know to go through those stages of production. And so we're still relying on, you know, other printers at this point until we can get the funds in order to bring our own, you know, higher quality printer in, in the house, in house right now. So there's a couple of different models of printers that we're looking at. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can kind of walk you through the, you know, printing process and so forth uh, down the line. Uh, so w w with all that said, um, the, the big thing that we started, you know, with this month or with, uh, with January, actually, uh, was our Patreon uh, page. We launched uh, uh, Bombshell Miniatures on Patreon in order to provide digital STL files of the sculpts that I've done to basically hobbyists that want to directly print them and, you know, play with them in their games and so forth. Uh, so that's a big benefit for those folks that are overseas that have digital printers and so forth. Uh, that may not want to pay for shipping or whatever, they can download the files, they can print it out on their home printer and then have, you know, our models in order to include, you know, in their games or, or as, uh, you know, subjects for painting. 
So I, I was really amazed whenever I first got our printer and went out and looked at the community to see how many people were out there actually printing, you know, digital models. And uh, it's, it, I had no idea that the community was as large as it was. So I was really surprised in that. And I was, I was really excited by the possibility of like, well, the, the miniature industry seems to be kind of shifting, you know, this direction. Um, that there is so many people supporting, uh, you know, uh, artists directly by downloading their content and printing it out and painting it and so forth. So uh, there's a lot of other sculptors out there that are providing really excellent content. And in future episodes of this, we'll probably be spotlighting them and talking to them and finding out, well, what was your idea behind, you know, starting your Patreon and, and uh, you know, just get some insight from them. Uh, I'd, I'd really be interested in talking to them and, and finding that out too. So, uh, anyway, I think we're going to uh, wrap up this episode uh, because I've got to get on to working today. Uh, but I appreciate you joining me uh, this morning for uh, our Saturday morning cereal. And I'm looking forward to talking to you a little bit more about what's going on next week. So, enjoy your munching and we will talk with you later. <music>